emergency. The ECC, or better known as the Emergency Communication Center, holds the workers who take emergency 911 calls. They place the calls, send the police and the ambulances for people who are possibly having the worst day of their lives. The UN Declaration of Human Rights states that in Article 24, everyone has the right to rest and leisure, including reasonable working hours. Who's going to say what is reasonable? Workers of the ECC and the police force have recently been put to work 14 to 16 hour shifts a day due to low staffing and the needed for less people to cover the shifts. I was able to meet up with Penelope Smith, a police and ambulance dispatcher for the ECC in Ramsey County. She has been working there for 10 years and I was able to ask her about her experience with the current situation. The job can also take tolls on those who receive the calls. The dispatchers are hearing and having to listen through these horrible situations that people are going through, and it might go home with them at the end of the night. We never know the outcome of most of the calls, so we're talking to somebody and we hang up with them and now we're moving on to the very next person. We have no closure. A lot of times we end up or people will end up internalizing that and then that affects them in their home life when they're away they become withdrawn and a lot of that's just not healthy and some people recognize that and they leave the unfortunate drawback is our in our work we can't just hire somebody off the street to fill a spot it's not like a cashier you have to go through intensive training. It's at least a month worth of classroom training and then one to two months of on the floor training with a shadow prior to you being allowed to just answer calls on your own. This doesn't just affect 911 operators and dispatchers. Police officers and first responders are seeing the effects of low staffing, longer shifts, and extensive training. You can show your support and speak out on this by just using your Facebook. Facebook has a creative way you can show your support through many different outlets. Facebook has profile borders that you can add to your page for a week or longer. I challenge you to add a Facebook profile border to your page for one week. A Facebook profile border is easy to install and shows your friends and family a little about the situation at the ECC. First, you want to go to your profile and then you're going to hit update profile picture. Then hit add frame and use the search engine to look up hashtag I've got your back 911. Then from there, you just scroll down and hit use as profile picture, and it will be live for one week. Now those who follow you can see your support and even add the border to their profile themselves. <laughs> 